We are. We're on, we're on the same level. Um, first of all, I'd like to thank NAS, the United Screens Network, and Savvy for their generous invitation and energy they have put into manifesting such an important weekend of holding space, gathering, sharing, and receiving. I would also like to extend my thanks to the catering and tech crews and beyond and share this gratitude with those of you participating in person or online as we form new ways of coming together in this very charged political atmosphere. Gathering and collectivity are important modes of reaching toward and declaring solidarity. My name is Tiara Roxanne, a name given to me by my father and my mother. My patriarchal lineage bears settler Italian and Tadaskan from the land of Michoacan, where the calibre, a symbol of observation, oration, and corazón are here with me now. My matriarchal lineage bears Apache and Pueblo Indian, the roadrunner, the protector, the medicine bird is here with me now. I hereby acknowledge my ancestors who fought, who walked, who bled, who breathed for me to be standing or sitting here with you now. My ancestors who are indigenous to the land of Central and North America. What a privilege it is to share with you now. Indigenous First Nations, Aztecas del Norte, Aboriginal, Indian, American Indian, Mexican Indian, Mexican Indigenous, Mexican, Mesoamerican, Mestizo, Pueblo Indian, Indigenous Native American, Native, Inupiat, Inupiaq, Inuit, and Alaskan are all terms that reference pre-colonial peoples as well as those who have long-term ancestry within the North Canadian Arctic region, Canada, and the Americas. This is not to claim that the term indigenous and the listed referential identities alongside are one and the same. It is to state that they are all pre-colonial beings with present day, long-term ancestry located within these regions. Thereafter, the individuals mentioned and referred to throughout this talk using the term indigenous peoples are attributed to those who embody the pre-colonial existence belonging to these territories. Indigenous peoples around the globe have been practicing gathering, fellowship, and coming together to collect, to receive, and share with one another, with Mother Earth. What I'm saying is that we have so much to learn from indigenous co cosmologies when thinking together, when gathering together. And now that we are in it together, it being this local and global shift, this cultural upheaval, this what I'm calling digital attunement, as Persephone graces the presence of Hades with the ocean of leaves soon gathering at our feet, symbolizing endings, symbolizing beginnings, sheddings, and transformation. To say in the least, the way we socialize has changed. The way we remember, how we remember, the way we intimize, the way we attune, how we gather and therefore collect has shifted immensely. We are a marking of history and digital attunement is something I'd like to briefly think through with you today. We are in it together. We are in this together to gather together in this world, this tearing world one where we must tend to our earthly ties, our relational experience and how we intimize, how we collect, how we share, how we receive. And when I think of together or togetherness or to gather, I remember Fred Moten's words on gathering, where he says, 
gathering makes a grammar all on its own. He says, to gather together is how we share. He says, we are a practice of gathering. I wonder, then, what is the syntax of coming together? What does that look like? How does that feel as we sit or stand, maybe lean, yawn, stretch in this room together? and with our comrades online who are visiting with us. Let us take a moment to find our breath, to breathe into our feet together, to listen, to practice holding space with our breath for each other. Are you ready? One breath in and one breath out. And as I continue to hold space and think through digital attunement and the grammar of gathering, I encourage you to continue to lean into your breath, to keep breathing with intent, to remember the body that you are in and how it is its own ceremony. I remember reading Alexis Pauline Gums in Topical Cream earlier this year, and she says something like, your our, the, body is a practice of ceremony. And in this world, it's easy to forget the body, to remember that we are living ceremonies. And thinking about how Moton says to gather together is how we share. And we are here on this autumn invoking day in Berlin. The sun happens to be shining. And ThinkWell 3.0, a weekend setting us up for collectivity and sharing regarding media and cinema. But what is media? And how do we think about media? Now don't forget your breath, remember? Don't forget to breathe. Don't forget your body. Okay, so back to media. I'd like to extend this grammar of together and how we gather together in person by moving that toward online space between interfaces, platforms, time zones into a digitally attuned practice. One that challenges our physical, human, bodily need for touch. One that challenges how we relate to one another. One that challenges how our bodies remember how our bodies hold memory, how our bodies are memory, one that challenges how we move our bodies, how we move toward one another, toward the earth, toward the recovering earth, the breaking soil, the tearing earth. How do we move with care, instilled and transmitted between interfaces? How do we share between territories and now digital borders? How do we continue the practice of gathering and caring? How do we remain emotionally a present for one another? How do we listen across digital borders? I think of my heritage and the violence of colonialism embedded within history and now through technology, how our tongues were taken how our land was removed, how our bodies were named and displaced. And I remember nature. I remember land, like animal, like spirit, where sweet grass grows and reminds me of my ancestors, the powerful teachers they are, speaking through the earth, speaking through the clay, the mud, speaking through my elders, speaking through my bones, my blood. I think about how we are still fighting to be acknowledged, to be heard, to be seen, to be unseen, to be remembered, to be alive. I think about how we, indigenous peoples, are marked as asterisk peoples who are counted, codified, collected, included and disincluded within political, educational, and technological frameworks. I think about how we have been forced to live within boundaries and borders, both on and offline. 
and I think about tradition and ritual. And through tradition and ritual, indigenous peoples develop a collective and individual dyadic body memory. Dyadic body memory is the shared memory between two individuals. And collective body memory is the shared memory between many. Both are forms of digital attunement within techno culture. And in turn, they develop as a means of colonial resistance and unveiling as such a togetherness, a gathering, a ritual of remembering, and a kind of attunement or memory. Collective body, for indigenous, or collective body memory for indigenous peoples is significant because rituals and ceremonies are common and widely exercised. Both types of memories are influenced and shaped by the phenomenology of body memory and intergenerational memory in so much that they marry the ontology of the indigenous body with the collective and individual cosmological identity. We can think about the sacred and ancestral importance of water or native water craft, which includes connecting with stars, language, waters, and others in other tribes and other communities. By connecting with the cosmos and nature, indigenous peoples are recovering and contemporizing history by practicing ceremonies with water. In this way, they refuse to surrender to the silencing of colonialism. So here, ceremonies and rituals for indigenous peoples can be translated and interpolated with methodologies, a kind of ceremonial practice or praxis. Not only do rituals and ceremonies build a stronger sense of corporeal memory through collective body memory, they intergenerationally embed themselves. In doing so, they, wow, this, the mic is like getting heavy. My wrist just like cramped. <laughs> so sorry. I had to like have that reaction in real time because it's intense. <laughs> Woo. I'm used to like having someone hold the mic for me. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right, back, back to it. Um, in doing so, they contemporize their own history, pass down knowledge and wisdom of one's own ancestral and historical work, but also gesture toward decolonization by reclaiming one's sacred practices back. By invoking ancestral spirits through ritual and history, the tradition is kept alive. Rituals allow for indigenous peoples to reclaim their practices, to survive, and to resist settler colonialism. Rituals are decolonial gestures at their core. Their embodied actions promote recovery, transformation, and the desilencing of gilded histories to pass them down through generations. For the body to memorize these sacred practices, dances, drumming, rhythm, the singing, the water ancestor. Each sacred action creates a sedimented intergenerational passing of memory. Now, extended to the techno platform, the interface through media, this is digital attunement. And this performs as a refusal of the flattening and universalist network culture produces. Digital attunement serves as a dynamic model of body-to-body -body memory facilitated by the machine. We form memory together. And as networks are limiting and the restraints of the network extend globally, which increases the necessity to develop new forms of understanding interconnectedness, understanding how we share, how we collect and gather, not only with care, but also perhaps toward resistance, toward solidarity. How can we situate the grammar of techno culture as seen in digital platforms like Instagram by means of media sharing through photos, reels, memes, as infrastructures, as structures that distribute memories, distribute experiences, distribute the way we share, the way we collect, the way we care? So in this way, the medium of sharing within digitality is the infrastructure that insists on attunement. So 
The experience between self and other in digital form creates our own kind of attuning. And this attuning continues to shift as we are working within modes of media, um, especially within techno-culture, interfaces, digital platforms. As we continue to work with these platforms, our memories shift and become sedimented in different ways. We are continuing to process these memories and how we interact with one another continues to shift immensely. Are you still breathing? So now to go back to Fred Moten's grammar of together or togetherness, I want to ask how we can inscribe our own rituals, how to develop our own daily practices of togetherness, sharing, collectivity, how our bodies are ceremonies that create their own syntax relationally with self and world, with media, with cosmology. I wonder if we can start here now. Did you remember your breath? Did you forget your body? Let's breathe again. One breath in and one breath out. And now in the essence of a tuning of the, the gathering of grammar, of collectivity, of learning from indigenous peoples and their rituals or practices therein, thinking about how we gather, how when we gather, we create a web of interconnectivity, a network of energetic relationality. We begin to attune subconsciously from our own ceremony, from our own bodies. So let's now re-remember those ceremonies. For the next 10 to 15 minutes, I'm gonna ask you to move your bodies, to move your ceremonies. So I'm gonna ask that everybody stands up if you are comfortable with it. And in the, these walls behind you, I have placed a red yarn in a spiral on the floor. And so I would like you to, if you are comfortable with it, you're welcome to pass. Um, but if you're, if you're into this kind of grammar of gathering, like please go find a spot on, on the, um, spiral or the web of red yarn and play with it touch it feel it sense it breathe with it and then i'll come join you in like two seconds